Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gaming Weekly Update. This is your host, Kieran, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Heroes. In this episode, we're going to start the bonus, which is just to show some stuff before we do the final story and the super hard mode. But yep, do apologize I haven't uploaded a video recently. It's because I've not been feeling well because I had a cold, but my voice is fine enough just to speak. So other than that, let's get into it. So we're going to start with extra. So basically all this is, you've got the music from the game. So you've got everything from the theme song, like to the theme songs of the characters, from the stage music, to the events, to others. And then here, it's all the cutscenes. So we've got the intro, Team Sonic, Dark, Rose, Chaotix, and the last one, which we'll be doing in the next episode, by the way. Right. So coming out of here, so when you press Y, in my case, because I've got an Xbox controller connected to the PC, You're basically getting Omo Chow to basically tell you what's what. He doesn't do it with Exit though, so yeah, he doesn't know everything. <laughs> but yeah, it's not rocket science at all what these are. But yeah, let's go into one player mode. So we got story, which is what we did in the previous four episodes. We've done, we've got super hard, and I'll explain that what that in a second. We got challenge, and we got tutorial. Tutorial is basically what starts you off the game and starts off Team Rose's story. So let's jump straight into it. You don't say. That's why they're called the speed character. Now I'll explain the homing attack to you. The homing attack comes in really handy and is used often in the speed formation. So make sure to master this technique. Press the A button to jump, then press the A button again while you're in mid jump. That's how to use the homing attack. Now let's try it with that spring. Used often in the speed formation. It's only the speed formation you do it in. That's why. Now, let's talk about rings. These things lined up here are what we call rings. It's important to always have at least one ring with you so you don't lose a life when you take on damage. So don't forget to pick up rings. Really? I thought they were donuts like Homer Simpson eats, but no, apparently they're rings. Easy peasy, that one was. Good job! The homing attack also automatically targets springs and item boxes, too. Use this technique to jump to different places. Now, let's try it! Let me go like bang. There we go. Next, let me explain Rocket XL to you. It's way cool! Rocket XL is an attack where you use your teammates to bounce off of to accelerate. It's a little bit complicated, so listen carefully. Press the X button to bring everyone together. Once everyone is together, let go of the X button. That's how to attack using Rocket Excel. If you let the X button go before everyone is together, you'll do a completely different attack. So be careful. Now, let's try it. 
It's a complete lie because, like, the rocket excel is not cool at all. It's a really lame move. Right, so we're gonna homing attack these and go forward. Let's destroy those guys and get the power cores. You can check to see which attacks have been leveled up later. And that's all it is. Next, I'll explain the fly formation to you. First, change the leader to the character in the yellow symbol. When the character in the yellow symbol is the leader, you're in flight formation. This formation allows you to fly! You don't say! That's why it's called the fly formation! Leave it to me! Press the A button again while jumping to ascend! Now you can reach high places! Let's try flying off that cliff now! Let's go! Let's go! Fly formation allows you to fly. That's why it's called fly formation. Right, so we Let's go. we fly up here. Next, I'll explain Thundershoot to you. Try Thundershoot by pressing the X button while in flight formation. This lets you shoot your teammates at the enemy like balls. Thundershoot comes in handy when you want to shock your opponents or when you need to aim for high places. Right, and then we go boom. We'll get Knuckles to smash him. Because why not? If the if the thunder shirt could destroy them, that is. There we go. And then we fly up here. Now there's a power formation. I'll now explain the last formation called the power formation. The power formation is useful to crush the enemies and rocks with powerful attacks. First, change the leader to the character in the red symbol. No, that you don't say. That's why they're called power character. Yeah, bang. Gonna go bang. There we go. Just smash everything up. Knock smash. <laughs> wow, you're a quick learner. Excellent. Okay, now let's try destroying all of those enemies over there. Already. Here we go. Here we go. Too cool. Not really. But he's basically talking about this. Which is not really a special attack at all. It's just an attack. Alright, and here we go. Team Blast. Get away! The gauge for Team Blast is energized by collecting items, rings, defeating enemies, or by using formation action. Well, you're too late telling me that now. I just did it. That's all. You did great! I knew you would do just fine. Touch that bull ring over there to clear the stage. Come back. And that's it. Yes. That's all there is to the tutorial. It's basically like just to get the hang of how the mechanics and stuff work. But I didn't really do that because I already knew how it worked. But yep, that was basically the tutorial stage. Right. What I'm going to show you next is um in challenge mode. Like as you can see, I've already got all the emblems and I've got all the emeralds and I've got all the the A ranks. Basically, like you get two different missions here. Right. 
For example, for Team Sonic, you've got the regular mission, and then when you go to this side, you've got what's known as a bonus mission. So for Team Sonic, their bonus missions is that you've got to beat the level at a certain time. For Team Dark, their bonus mission, you have to defeat a certain number of enemies. You have to defeat all the enemies in the level. That's basically all theirs is, so theirs is quite easy too. Team Rose, it's a ring collecting one, so you have to collect 200 rings to beat the stage. So theirs is, theirs is actually the easiest, but then again, they're the easiest team, so it's pretty dang simple. And for Team Chaotix, theirs is slightly different. Basically, what, depending on the mission in the game, they basically double that amount. So, but for example, like, you know, the final mission we did in Team Chaotix stage, like when they, when they had to collect five keys, like in this stage, in this one, you collect 10. So it basically doubles the amount of what you're doing. So this one, you collect five keys. This one, you collect 10. So it's basically doubling the amount. Right. To get the Chaos Emeralds though, um, this is where it gets quite tricky because there's the keys. It's only on the second stage of each zone. So like Seaside Hill, and then you go to Ocean Palace. Any stage that has the emerald symbol below it, you get it by getting the keys, which I'm going to show you right now in speed, well, in in fast motion, and then all the way to playing the stage. So I'll explain to the stage after the videos are done. So, and I'll show you how it's played. So and it will be done with Team Rolls. It's because Team Rolls' levels are quite short and they're easy to get past. Like, that's why... I've been using Team Rolls because they can easily get it and then catch it. But yep, I'm going to show you those videos right now about where the keys are and how to do the stages.
Okay, and with that, that's how you get all the emeralds. And um, the way I figured out how to do it, there's been videos teaching you how to do it, like showing you how to do it. But they always say like switch to this to the power character, and then like it's easily drifts, which is true uh, to an extent. Like even though it's easier to drift, like they don't move very fast. So the way I figured out how to do it, as you saw what I've done, I always played as the speed character. So I try to level up all the way up to level three first which is when you collect those spheres and the reds and the blue ones actually level up a lot bigger so that's how i've done it it's always the speed character 
collect the balls to level up to level three first and then just hold that action button to dash forward don't need to do anything else you just gotta move forward dodge out of the way of the bombs keep going forward hold b keep collecting the balls and then eventually you will get close enough to catch the emerald so that's basically all there is to this video so yep um for the next episode we will be playing the last story which is the the last story yeah <laughs> which is basically that so yep i guess that's going to conclude this episode so thank you so much for watching and as per usual if you liked what you've seen please like comment and subscribe remember to hit the bell if you want to see any more videos or any more live streams that me or brad produce on his channel i've been kieran of gaming weekly update and we will see you in the next video or live stream thank you for watching and goodbye so